We begin with Chai, a young man with a disabled right arm and a dream of becoming a rock star, who arrives at the enormous, city-sized island campus of Vandalay Technologies, a major technology company, to volunteer for Project Armstrong, a test program for cybernetic limb replacement which will allow him to use both of his arms to play the guitar. However, based on his unimpressive application, the Armstrong Automated Analysis System designates him as an ideal candidate for garbage collection, selecting his robotic arm to be a model LX Dust 75 magnetic grabber to aid him in his future duties working for Vandalay's Waste Management Division. In preparation for the limb replacement procedure, a robotic assistant prompts Chai to remove his clothing and portable music player, placing them in a nearby storage bin for safekeeping. As Chai approaches the machine to begin the procedure, the company's CEO, Kale Vandalay, happens to notice and pick up the music player, which he then throws away in disgust, angrily commenting that it's junk due to his viewing of the Armstrong volunteers not being as successful and influential as he wanted. The music player falls onto Chai's chest just as the machine seals him in and initiates the process, causing it to embed inside of the arm's new power unit within his body, which has the unexpected side effect of forcing the environment around him to synchronize to the beat of the current song it plays. After being scanned by the facility's robotic security forces, Chai is labeled by the Vandalay security system as a defect due to malfunction, and discovers his new arm can deploy an electromagnetic grabber stick intended to be used for collecting metallic garbage, which he instead uses to fashion a guitar-like weapon from scraps. Defending himself from the security forces while searching for a way to escape, he encounters a robotic cat named 808, created by Peppermint, an unseen ally proficient with computers and robotics, who communicates through 808, which syncs with Chai's musical power unit, assisting him in battle. Encountering Rekka, Vandalay's head of production, she sends in QA-1 Mil, a giant robot tasked with eliminating defective products as Vandalay's head of quality assurance, to forcibly recall Chai by killing him. After defeating it and narrowly escaping the explosion from its self-destruction, Peppermint uses 808 to guide Chai to her hideout, concealed within the abandoned lower levels of Vandalay. There, she offers to help Chai escape the campus if he agrees to assist with her investigation into Spectra, a top-secret company program that only the six-head Vandalay executives know the details of, which Peppermint believes to be a conspiracy behind Armstrong and the two former reluctant alliance. While Chai ventures toward Rekka's office, Peppermint reveals 808's temporal displacement feature, which allows her to teleport to its location and assist him as needed. Arriving at Rekka's office, where he again runs into her, this time Chai is forced to fight and defeat her. Afterward, obtaining her personal passkey, a device which allows Peppermint to gain access to Rekka's computer, where they learn more about Spectra, revealing that it's an artificial intelligence, or AI, program capable of mind-controlling Armstrong subjects via Vandalay's cybernetic implants, which already contain a neural connection to the brain for registering user inputs. Peppermint convinces Chai to help her shut down Spectra by going after Zonzo, the head of research and development, located where AI development is handled, in the R&D branch, deep below the island, which uses magma as a natural power source for its experiments. While journeying through its laboratories, Chai meets Macaron, the former R&D executive, seeking to return the company to its altruistic roots, as it was before Kale took over and replaced him with Zonzo, and CNMN, or Cinnamon, Macaron's psychological analysis robotic companion, both of whom joined the team. Confronting Zonzo, who's defunded after exhausting the development budget while assembling another giant robot to use as a weapon, Chai defeats him, obtaining his passkey and learning from his computer that in order to shut down Spectra, the team will need to secure the passkeys of all the Vandalay executives, including the remaining four. Afterward, Chai is captured and detained by Corsica, Vandalay's head of security, and upon escaping, fights his way through more robotic forces aboard the Lyft mobile platform before climbing the laser tower of the security wing, eventually reaching and sneaking into her office, where she's trying to find out more information about Spectre herself, as she's the only executive with limited access to its files. Forced to defend himself after abruptly interrupting her, Chai manages to convince Corsica of Spectre's maliciousness before subduing her by knocking her unconscious, afterward carrying her to her own private elevator and transferring to her personal lift with the goal of heading back to the hideout. While en route, Kale attempts to kill them both for learning the truth by sending a giant chaser robot after them, which targets Corsica, causing an explosion that destroys the lift and severely injures her before Chai escapes while carrying her to safety. Back at the hideout, the team saves her life, treating her wound by performing an emergency cybernetic implant surgery before convincing her to join them, sharing all of their information with her and obtaining her password, which she uses in lieu of a passkey. Corsica then proposes that they next target Mimosa, the head of marketing, at the Armstrong Festival, a huge party celebrating the project, where she's scheduled to perform at the concert hall. Due to heavy security, the team decides to go through the Vandalay Museum, where the company's history is displayed, using it as a back route since it connects directly to the concert stage. 
While traveling through the museum, the team encounters an Armstrong display which claims that Kale single-handedly developed the robotic limb system, which causes Peppermint to angrily state that Roxanne Vandalay, the founder and former CEO of Vandalay before Kale, was the real developer, and Kale just stole her work. Peppermint then reveals that Kale's her brother, and Roxanne's their mother, who created Peppermint's robotic leg after an accident, and that she later ran away from home to find her own path in the world, returning after losing contact with Roxanne around the time of Kale's ascent to CEO. Arriving backstage at the concert, Chai dons a nearby shark costume to blend in, before storming the stage and confronting Mimosa, leading to a performance battle. After defeating her and obtaining her passkey, the team returns to the hideout and Chai devises a plan to use the festival's fireworks cannon to launch him into Vandalay Tower from the air, bypassing its elevated security, and accessing the office of Rokefer, head of finance. Arriving at his office after fighting through the tower due to a detour in trajectory, Rokefer reveals to Chai that he has an extreme, full-body robotic augmentation, which allows him to transform into a gigantic wolf. After their destructive fight takes him from the office, through the company's safety deposit room, and into its enormous gold vault, Roquefort is crushed by a massive pile of gold profits which are suddenly piped in, and Chai takes his passkey. Heading to Kale's office at the top of the tower for the final passkey, they encounter Roxanne, learning that Kale's controlling her with Spectra, which he used to force her to make him CEO, while he secretly kept her in the tower to assist him. Kale traps the team in a harmonic force field, before explaining that his master plan is to use Spectra to control Armstrong users, forcefully influencing them and those around them to purchase Vandalay products, guaranteeing the company's profits. Chai synchronizes with the sound wave frequency of the harmonic force field, destroying it, and the team proceeds to chase after Kale, who sends the ZP-1500, another giant robot, to stop them. Working together, the team manages to sever the robot's arm, which Cinnamon then connects to, using it to fire back against the robot with the group's help, eventually causing a massive explosion, destroying the robot, and damaging Cinnamon. After verifying that Cinnamon is safe and in stable condition, the team confronts Kale in his office, who uses Spectra to incapacitate Chai while containing the rest of the group in another force field, forcing 808 to battle Kale alone, destroying his Spectra remote device, freeing Chai from its control. Ascending to the tower's roof, where a massive construct further increases the power of Kale's extensively augmented robotic body, Chai battles Kale, before their fight leads them back into his office, where the force field is disabled, allowing the team to rejoin Chai and combine their abilities into a unified attack against Kale, resulting in his defeat when his body explodes from the overwhelming damage. Afterward obtaining Kale's final passkey, Peppermint inserts the five keys and inputs Corsica's password, which is password, into the Spectra interface in his office, initiating an overload which destroys the system, shutting it down. Following this, Macaron plans his repairs for Cinnamon while Roxanne's restored as Vandalay CEO, and she reinstates Macaron as head of R&D and Corsica as head of security, while also hiring Peppermint as her protege and Chai as Armstrong's ambassador. Later, the team gathers together to celebrate their victory, enjoying a sunset while Chai practices playing the guitar, before returning to the hideout, where they still gather in their off time. There, Peppermint detects scrambled Spectra signals appearing all over the Vandalay campus, and after investigating their sources to decode and compile them, the team learns that the signals are part of a backup protocol, leading to another Spectra device inside a facility underneath the tower. After entering and disabling the facility's security, Chai discovers that Spectra has begun restarting itself, with its AI being a replica of Kale, which appears and begins gloating about the master plan. However, it's suddenly shut down when a janitor robot becomes tangled up in its power cord while cleaning the floor and unintentionally unplugs it, severing its power source. Chai untangles the robot, declares the problem solved, and leaves a note on the plug warning not to touch it before exiting the facility and returning to the hideout. 